Hello, great souls. Today we'll be focusing on the quality of divine wisdom. So I thought I would say a little bit about the practice of Gyana Yoga, which is the practice of relating to life with the intention to find the truth, to listen for the truth, to perceive the truth, to understand the truth. So to always be attentive to this question of what is true? What is true? What is the truth? Which is different than the facts. So there may be information that we're receiving and there can be, um, it's not that truth is devoid of the fact, but truth is a deeper understanding of the facts. It's a deeper understanding of the information that's presenting itself. And with that deeper understanding, it aligns us with the um, power of God, with our own highest self. And from that perspective, we feel connected to an underlying unity of reality. The meaning of yoga is union. So each one of these aspects of the divine brings us to the experience of union. Union with our own highest self, union with the source of all life, union with all, unity. So I'll read now a little bit from the Art and Science of Raja Yoga about um, the practice of wisdom, which is often referred to as Gyana. And then I'll read from the um, affirmations for self-healing and the affirmation today on wisdom. So from the art and science of Raja Yoga on wisdom. Gyana Yoga is the yoga of wisdom. Wisdom first comes through the practice of Viveka, discrimination. The important thing is not how many deep truths one can grasp, but rather how deeply one grasps the central truth, the need to rise above personal likes and dislikes. Discrimination means in all things to look for the kernel of reality. It means penetrating to ever deeper levels of insight. And now from Affirmations for Self-Healing on Wisdom. Swamiji says, we often hear the expression, sadder but wiser. This is the mark of worldly wisdom, which people equate with disillusionment. Indeed, worldly hopes sooner or later all end in disappointment and sometimes in great sorrow. Worldly wisdom often wears the garb of sadness. Not so divine wisdom. On the spiritual path, the expression should be happier and wiser. For true human wisdom means recognizing at last the pathway out of delusion and toward the light of truth. Divine wisdom is omniscient itself. In such wisdom, there is no shadow of sorrow, only bliss absolute, bliss infinite, bliss eternal. The affirmation is as I learn the lessons that life teaches me, I grow toward ever greater joy and freedom. As I learn the lessons that life teaches me, I grow toward ever greater joy and freedom. As I learn the lessons that life teaches me, I grow toward ever greater joy and freedom. Taking these words inwardly now, lifting the gaze of the eyes to the point between the eyebrows, 
with great concentration and great feeling, repeat these words silently. As I learn the lessons that life teaches me, I grow toward ever greater joy and freedom. As I learn the lessons that life teaches me, I grow toward ever greater joy and freedom. Let's take this practice now of divine wisdom, which connects us to that omniscient understanding of truth, a truth that we have access to within ourselves. So as we meditate, feel yourself opening now to divine understanding, to insight and intuitive perception, resting, being filled and supported with divine wisdom. We'll meditate for five minutes, about five minutes, then I'll chant Om for us to come out of meditation. And then together we'll send the gift of wisdom out to the world. So sitting with a relaxed body, a lifted and lengthened spine, behind the closed eyes, lift the gaze to the point between the eyebrows, draw your energy and awareness to this point and welcome wisdom.
Let's end our meditation now by sending out this quality of divine wisdom as a blessing and a gift for all. Rubbing our hands together, visualize yourself, drawing energy into the hands, feel yourself as a divine channel of wisdom and sending this out as we chant Om together three times. Oh, 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 oh. Let's bring our hands together at the heart center, honoring that spark of divinity that shines brightly within you and within all beings. We close with namaste. Namaste. Okay, great souls. It's so good to be with you today. Wishing you a beautiful day filled with blessings filled with the gift of divine wisdom. Take good care.